Very thankful the Lord blessed us to be with you. I told Brother Randall and Brother David was far up there. So uh, I was the curious if went ahead and preached for us a little while. I ain't no hurry. Uh, but I'm like these brothers. I don't purpose to take a lot of your time. But what time I stand here this morning, I hope you could pray for me. Uh, the Lord bless me to say something good about him. About his son Jesus. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know how to preach. I'll confess that for you this morning, and I know you all know that. Uh, I have to find one of these books that's got some bigger print in it. My my wife told me last night at that wedding over there. I said, "You put them glasses on and off all night." I said, "Them things aggravate me death." <laughs> and uh. I tell you, if you don't have glasses, and uh, I can tell you when it's time that you do need them without going to the doctor, I can tell you how to tell you. When your arms get too short. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it, boy. Uh, so, uh, that's the way it is. This morning, we're thankful to the Lord to be here. Uh, <clears throat> And let me say this. Now, I like to feel like Brother David did. I thought when he was praying there, when he got up, he would preach to us. Uh, <clears throat> but I've learned something through this thing, and I'm like him. The longer you go, the more you learn. Yeah. It don't matter how you feel when you stand here. See, I have stood up before and feel real good in the Spirit, and Lord not bless me to preach. And I have stood, like, like right now, I should be honest with you, uh, I don't feel the Spirit in my heart to preach to you, but see, that's why he said to stand entirely. Yeah. 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 And... Uh, <laughs> but see, he fills up empty vessels. Yeah, there that's what go. the Lord does. Yeah, and uh, I tell you what, I thought about uh, I'm, and Lord's people. They're they're peculiar people, and a lot of people get above themselves. And I'm just who I am, and you're just who you are. And I can tell you what makes you what you are. It's in the fifteenth chapter of the book of Corinthians, and the tenth verse it says, "We are what we are." By the grace of God, I am what I am. Uh, and I tell you what I've thought about a lot. We've been taking a lot of communion. We've got some communions still to go. Uh, how we serve the bread and the wine and wash one another's feet. And Jesus done that too. He turned some uh, water into wine one time. Gave it uh, to the governor. They was out of wine. They was at a wedding feast. They'd run out of wine. And uh, they told him that his mother did. He said, they're out of wine. He said, woman, what has that to do with me? My time has not yet come. Now, don't that seem out of place that Jesus was at a wedding feast and they come up to him and tell him, we're out of wine. His mother did. Woman, what has that to do with me? But my time has not yet come. His mind was on Calvary. The cross for every laid before your Savior while he was here in this world. See, he knew what he came to do. You know, he cut the stout. There he spoke that right to her. For my time has not yet come. But anyway, they took some water pots and she and she said, Whatever he beat, Brother David said that while ago. That's why I thought about that. They brought them water pots and she said, Now whatever he tells you to do, just do it. And he told them to take them water pots. And I, I looked that up one time. There was six water pots. And according to the... And I'm not saying this was how big they were in his time. But according to the culture over there now, them water pots, six of them, if, he'd have, if they'd have filled them up to the top and he changed it, would have been 42 gallons of wine he made that day. If it was the size then as it is now over there. That would have been 42 gallons of wine. He changed water into wine. And he told them, he said, take it and give it to the governor. And they did. So when the governor drank it, he told them, and I'll put it in layman's term where you can understand what that governor said. He said, look, said you brought the best wine and saved it for last. He said, men usually, when they first drank, they'll serve good wine. And when men are well drunken, they'll bring on the cheap. See? It's like me and you, if we was to be out tonight and we drank, I used to drink. 
See? I know what he was talking about when I read that scripture. When I first started drinking, I was going to drink the good wine. But after you got me drunk, it wasn't matter what you give me. That's what that devil was saying, see? After a man drunk, it don't matter. But he said, you saved the best wine for life. You know why Jesus made that wine? Now let me ask you a question. This is what I thought. About, and this is how people are. See, people have changed what the Lord said to do. And people have changed what the Bible says. But yeah. See, the Bible don't change. It's still the same. What He said then is still the same today. It was good then and it's good today. But people... Uh, well, you, you all, that's the person next to me that. You mean you're going to a communion? Yeah, we communion. Do you wash feet? Yeah, we wash feet. Oh, we don't wash feet, but so we take the grapefruit juice and the wafer. I said, we, I, said I never read that word. He served grapefruit juice. Did you, have you ever read that? He said, drink this wine. Yeah. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, and before I ask, I know what you, the answer. Do you believe that was for me and wine? And he would have got them drunk if they'd drunk enough of it. With all my heart, I believe that they'd have got drunk if they'd have drunk enough wine. It was wine that the Lord made and give them at that wedding feast. Mm -hmm. It was wine that your Savior drank at the yeah. last supper. They yeah. drank wine. Fermented wine. Yeah. I can tell you what. See, even, even they, uh, and let me say this. It's not what goes in you. And I'm not telling you, look, it's okay to go drink. You should live the very best you can in this world. But Jesus plainly told them, that's why I'm saying we are just what we are by the grace of God. It's not what goes in you that defiles you. It's what comes out of you that defiles a man. Okay? <clears throat> so I... I and I thought that people think that, well, if you're a Christian person, and I, I seen that over there last night, uh, down at that wedding reception, they were happy people. Good, clean, happy, fun. And I believe that's how the Lord wants His people to be. Happy people. And they enjoyed themselves. I enjoyed myself. And, and they, was, they were probably... These good Christian people or good church going folks would probably seen us over there last night and would probably look at them people and call themselves to be Christians. <laughs> they done my Savior and your Savior the same way. Yeah. Well, here comes the wine bibber and the gluttonous man. You know why? He drinks wine. Yeah. Bible says that he drank that wine and told him I could turn it over and, and show it to you. Here, take this cup, drink this wine, for it is my blood. Shed for the ransom of many. See, now let me tell you, if you believe that Jesus <clears throat> with the Calvary's yeah. cross and shed His blood for ever who wants to have a chance to go to heaven, then you're wrong. You're wrong. That's not what the book says. The Bible says that He went to Calvary and He told them there at that last supper. So this is my blood shed for the New Testament a ransom for many. I don't know who Who's blood, who's, who he shed it there for? But I'm like these brothers here this morning. I've got a hope that he shed it for me on Calvary. Amen. Amen. I'm like old Peter there. I was going to I was gonna read something to you out of the book of Chronicles. And you pray for me, but I'm like Peter. See, the reason I said that, they'll say, well, there he was hanging on Calvary and God sent him there. And I believe that God sent him to Calvary. Yeah. Bible says in the book of Acts that he was delivered up by the determinate counsel of God Almighty. Amen. God sent his son to Calvary's hill. Mm -hmm. I can prove that to you because, see, that's why I say these things. They're not just wrote in here to fill up these pages. They said they, they come out one time to get him and they asked him. He knew they was coming after him. Yeah. They said, who do you see? They saw him a lot of times before the time that he went to Calvary. They sought to kill him. There was a thorn in his flesh while he was sure in this world down Pharisees and Sadducees. I tell you what he said they do. He said they desired the high seat. said they set their faces flint and they stand and pray in the marketplace trying to be somebody. See, 
I just want to be seen that the other day. I can tell you this, brother. I'm just who I am. Listen, what they said, they sought to kill mine and your Savior. But every time they would seek him, he would get away. He could disappear right in the midst of the congregation. There come a time they come out to get him, and he said, Who are you seeking? They said, we're, cut, we're seeking Jesus. And the Bible says, all he said was, I am he. And they fell down. You think he took them all away? See, there was a reason the Bible says, and they all fell down. He could have got away cutting them. Yeah. Yeah. It was his time, woman, my time has not yet come. Yeah, yeah but there come a time, brother. And he knew when it was. Yeah. He was sent yeah. for this yeah. cause. Yeah. Came out into the Amen. world. See, they were the cause that Jesus come here into the world. You know what it was? It was to save sinners. And I want you to know this morning, with everything in my heart, I, and I believe there's two types of people in this world. I believe there are sinners and there's wicked people. Mm -hmm. I, I can read it to you. Uh -huh. you. You read the book of Proverbs. Sure that there's two seeds in this world. Oh, woman, I put enmity between thy seed and her seed. There's two, brother. Yeah. I tell you what, just as sure as I'm in your presence today, God sent His Son to save His people on Calvary's hill. Peter said it, who bore in his own body our sin. So let me say this. That, that'll cut out that, that he just went there. That's what the world's trying to tell dead alien sinners. And listen, they're trying to make people alive. They, let me tell you how the Lord found me. Hey, he found me dead in my passion. And yeah. in my sin. I was dead. Now let me yeah. say this. There's two types of dead too. You've got to understand these things. And let me say this. The beginning of, 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 of wisdom is the fear of, of the Lord. And I can tell you I fear it this morning. Oh, I've never feared Satan. I ain't never really. I, just let me tell you, he bothers me now. I told a preacher this one time. He couldn't understand what I was telling him. Listen to what he said. He told me that my brother Sean was leaning up on a cinder block wall one night at a funeral. We preached a funeral. We preached over this person. He heard us preach, and when we come outside, we were standing leaning on a, on a cinder block wall. I'll never forget it. A preacher, you think about that. Here he comes, and he said, Brothers, I want to tell you something. He said, I wish I could believe what you believe tonight. Oh! He said, I'm afraid if I go to bed tonight and forget to repent and have done something wrong that day and I don't wake up, heaven won't be my home. Let me tell you why. Do you think about that? That was the preacher told me that. I, oh, let me tell you what I told him. He said, I, I, I worry, I fear, I, I fear, uh, afraid of the devil. I said, let me say this to you. I won't say who he was. I said, let me tell you something, brother, uh, that'll probably shock you when I tell you uh, what I'm about to tell you. He said, what's that? Uh, brother Jed. I said, I've never uh, been afraid of Satan. I, oh, brothers, when I was out there, uh, dead and trying to yeah. and yeah. I was dead and it didn't bother me, brother David. I, oh, and I'm like, there. When the Lord come, I know where I was, and I want you to know something. I hear it the a John Street Church this morning. I wasn't looking for the Lord either, yeah. brethren. But I tell you what, the Lord found me. Yeah. Oh, the Lord found me dead and trespassing. Yeah. Listen, I see I was yeah. dead. Yeah. I World, and you go home and look it up. A dead is spelled a D E A D, no matter how you count it up. Dead is dead, brother. And I, oh, the Bible said that it found Jacob in a waste town, a wilderness, a ruin, and undone. The Lord found me that too, and I was dead when he came. I know where I was. He gave me a hope that I was one of his, and sometimes. Not all of the time, I have to be honest. Uh, probably more than not, uh, less than not, uh, he bears witness uh, with me. But sometimes, uh, his spirit bears a uh, witness, brother yeah. Les. Yeah. Uh, oh, and hated wonderful. 
fall when the God of heaven yeah. spirit yeah. of our witness yeah. 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 Spirit, yeah. he'll let you know a something brother yeah. now. Oh, Spirit bears witness with mine that I'm one of his here in this world. And listen, brother, after the Lord come to me, I wasn't worried about Satan. I know that he called him a piece of trouble. That's why I told the old brother. Oh, I told him. I said the Lord. Uh, and let me know what he done for me. Uh, so when you add it all up, I'm never worried about Satan, Brother David. Oh, when I was dead, it didn't matter. And when Jesus made me alive, uh, listen, Brother, yeah. I know there was a greater pain yeah. here yeah. Yeah. in the world. Uh, oh, and my Bible tells me uh, that old Satan is a liar, ain't he? Uh, yeah. Yeah. He'll tell you that God I don't love you. He'll tell you that Jesus didn't die on Calvary for you. Oh, but I'm here to tell you this morning, brother. I'm my Savior with the Calvary. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. of God. Yeah. And heaven oh. is their home. Yeah. Oh, who bore this from what Peter said, uh, brother? It's not like uh, the world's trying uh, to tell God's people. And listen, brother, all God's people don't uh, know the truth. Oh. Uh, hey, uh, but I believe I'm here uh, this morning. Yeah. Uh, a person yeah. of God's people uh, that do know the truth. And they're all His. Uh, they're uh, all yeah. God's people are His people. Uh, but listen, they all don't know it, brother. And I, oh, he did not die on Calvary Hill and shed his blood for a change of the living heaven. No. I will not have no. that, brother. And I, oh, uh, God didn't send Jesus here uh, to go and be mocked, uh, be spit upon yeah. and crucified on Calvary and take a change of nobody no. uh, being there. No. If there's a change of going, there's a change of not going, brother. And I, oh, Jesus and Jesus bore in his own body yeah. a mind in your sin. Yeah. His people sin was yeah. in his body. Yeah. Oh, and he went to a Roman soldier across yeah. that day. Yeah. If you think they oh. took him about four and laid him there and killed him and now it's all over, brother. You're wrong today. Oh, he told them in the book of John, he said, I am the shepherd, and I lay down my life for my yeah. sin, brother. I believe there are God a people in this world. Oh, and he went there and laid his life down. I've got the power to lay my life down. I've got yeah. the power to take it up yeah. Yeah. Yeah, brother. Yeah. And listen here this morning, he's alive today. Yeah. Yeah. And listen, I was so happy uh, that God's people I was happy. My uh, brother, I'm not for Brother Dave. Uh, he ain't many times yeah. uh, you see joy in yeah. the world. Uh, oh, go down to the hospital yeah. when we leave here and just walk around. They won't say nothing to you. And uh, look in, brother. His sickness hanging. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, the good news of this gospel. Uh, the good news of the Bible. Yeah. Uh, there's a better time. Yeah. Brother, and I, hey, I'm gonna go away, but I'm coming again, brother. Oh, Jesus is coming. I might, I felt that right then. Hey, I'm our Savior's coming in the morning, brother. And I, oh, happy time, a long way is for. Oh, listen, brother, when Jesus comes, He's taking us home to a land over there. I've read about her. How beautiful. I don't know why I ain't been there. Oh, but I know this today. Oh, there'll be no dying over yonder. Oh, not one little grave will ever be dug in heaven's world. Oh, no more sickness. No. I can't imagine no. that. Not no sickness no. over there, brother. And I, oh, and the most important thing of all. 
I'm gonna see my beloved yeah. Savior. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I wanna stop you, wanna see Jesus. Yeah. I wanna see my Savior yeah. in the morning, don't you? Oh, they handled him while he was sure in this world. I thought about, listen, brother, the Lord can bring things to your mind. I thought when I read that, of the word of life, whom we've handled, I just pictured it. I handled him while he was alive and during the world. Well, listen, brother, I tell you what I believe old John was talking about, too. Hey, they took our Savior body down off of Calvary's hill, and there they rounded him up. I believe they handled him, don't you? Yeah. Hey, they took my Savior's body and they put him in a borrowed tomb. Yeah. Oh, we're alive, brother. They handled him there. Oh, they laid him in a tomb where no man had laid before. There wasn't going to be no mistake in this no. night. There hadn't been nobody there yeah. in that tomb, had they? Oh, uh, there's nobody in that tomb uh, today, brother. No. Uh, my Savior's not there. No. He come out of the grave and rose and ascended hey. uh, back to glory hey. world. Yeah. And because He lives, we shall live all. And hey, listen, yeah. brother, I'm not looking on the way to go to heaven to have a good time in Jesus. Yeah. I'm happy in Him right now, brother. Hey! I got joy in my heart of this world. I listen, brother. I know there's trouble on every side. But listen here in this world, there's peace in her too. Hey, there's peace in Jesus. I'm in this world with you, brother. But I'm not ever, and neither are you. Listen what we are. Hey, we're strangers. I'm a stranger and a pilgrim in this world, but I'm on my yeah, journey yeah. home, Brother Day. Oh, while we're here, I heard old preacher Eddie Lau say this one time. He said, uh, we're about like uh, the Israelites. We don't want to eat your bread. We don't want to drink your water. We just want to pass through yeah. to your land. There you go. Yeah. Hey, that's how I feel today. I don't want what the world's got out there. I just want to pass through. Yeah. I'm on a journey, brother. And this is sure. I'm here in your presence. It won't be long now. Hey, he didn't come today, but he said he'd come. Did it make it void? No. The revelation says he that will come, he shall come. Yeah. Oh, and he won't tarry, neither. I heard him say, well, if the Lord tarry, he won't tarry, brother. And I, oh, he'll be on time. Yeah. And listen what, he's coming for, and I'll get out of the way. Oh, he's coming for his people, brother. Yeah. And I, oh, how dear did they call. He shed his blood. He gave his life for He rose and went to glory for yeah. And he promised. Yeah. A perm in the morning, and listen how he's coming. I know how he's coming, Brother Carl. Hey, I heard a long, still voice one time. It was in the dead air of the night, Brother Lee. And I wasn't thinking about the Lord. I wasn't worried about the Lord. But I heard a voice one night. Oh, I said. You're going to serve me. He didn't ask me, brother. I don't sir. He didn't knock me there. He just come out in. Yeah. He told me I was going to. Don't tell me that God won't make you do something. Oh, in the day of my prayer, my people shall I be a willing yeah. people. I will understand. Yeah. Let me say this. That God knows my heart this morning. I'd have crawled under that right there and hid when I stood up here. I'd dread, I'd have tuck a, I'm like mom, said, son, you'd rather take a woman of the Savior that you're wrong. That's how I was for the son. Hey, I'm willing, Lord. I'll just stand by. That's what I thought. I said, I'm going to read in the book, you think, the book of Chronicles of all time. Hey, I said, I'll read something, maybe something to come. But listen, brother. My people, oh, how can it not be if he said they're my people? Oh, 
my sheep. Listen, brother, that my is just a two-letter word, but it's his word. Of my people a shelter, and my voice, and shall be a willing people. Of my sheep shall hear my sheep, shall hear my voice. Oh, they're mine, and dear to death. You've been bought, brother. Yeah. With the price of blood, Jesus bought you. He paid for you. Listen, I'm glad it's that way. Yeah, I'm glad that God chose them out of this world. Listen, if it had been up to me, I'd have messed it up, brother. I'm the man, I messed it up. God won't. <laughs> He's coming with a shout. I heard a low, still voice one night. I wasn't even worried about the Lord. I was going along, doing good. I, and listen, brother. I, I watch my. I'm gonna tell you some things. She here. I can tell. I seen her get up before she was in church. And God come to her. Listen, He can come to you, and you laying right beside of Him in the bed and wake you up and never bother them. Yeah. Listen, He come to her. Yeah. He woke her up, made her laugh. Never did disturb me, and I'd see her get up. And I'm going I'm to be honest with you. I was, I was jealous over it too. I, I knew she had something the other day. How about I didn't have it? I, I, I can't say that I wanted it. I just know that I didn't have what she had. I was torn all the pieces for 10 or 12 years, and I'd watch her go. It would eat me up sometimes. I'd worry about old foolish stuff. She just blow it by. It was the Lord in her. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, brother, yeah. I couldn't understand. I'd watch her get up sometime. I'd take the keys. I'm ashamed to tell the day, but it's the truth. I'd hide the keys from her. I'd try to keep her from going to the church on a Sunday morning. I'd be listen, I'd be brother, and I'd tell you, she's still right there. Yeah. Whoa! I, was, I wanted what she had, but I didn't have it. And listen, I just give up, I swear. It's not for me. Well, but 10 or 12 years on down the road, He's always on time. He come to me. Oh, bless His name. I'm not called by the day. Hey, if I had 2,000 times, I'd turn them loose to Him right now. Oh, He come to me. And he put it in her, yeah, and everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Oh, brothers, everything's going to be all right. Our Savior's alive. She get home from church, found your car keeps leaving. You hid them from me. You think about that. I knew she had something, brother. Yeah. Hey, I've said it before, and God knows my heart, and He knows yours. I want them, if they come, somebody come and said, yeah, Satan will do it too. Yeah. Satan took. Satan took. Read it. It's in there. That's yeah. not in there to fill up the page, isn't it? Satan took. Yeah. He took Jesus. Satan took Jesus. Yeah. Jesus didn't take. Satan took. Can we show you the kingdoms? He's got power. The Bible says he's the God of this world. You believe that? You know who the God of this world is? Satan. <laughs> Satan, brother. He's a liar. I want to tell you he's a liar. He'll lie to you. If you're here today, and I'm going to tell you what's the truth about it too. They're all kinds of God's people lingering around old Baptists. I see them there. They have me too, brother. They know we know the truth. I know the truth this morning. I told you the truth this morning. It's in the book. I told a brother one time, he said, I'll tell you how it is. I said, how it is? Well, God wants to uh, get people saved. I said, show it to me. Oh. I said, I don't have yeah. one bit of problem I'm going down there at, at, at the mouth of the holler. He lived up the holler of the church. I said, show it to me. Yeah. I don't have a bit of problem I'm preaching nothing in there. Listen, he said, well, it's just that way. <laughs> no, it's not that way. God never did want to, nobody to get saved. He saved them, brother. Yeah. God yeah. don't want the God of heaven. If the God of this Bible has never wanted. You, you find me where God wants something, and then I'll preach it to you. I said, listen, I said, my only problem with preaching that, I said, there are deacons sitting down there. And when I preach after church, they're going to ask me where it's at. Yeah. 
I can't show what time they're going to be troubled. See, it ain't in there. Let me say this. See, I don't have to worry about it. It's in there. God has predestinated a people unto Himself yeah. by Christ the Lord. Yeah. Now if you want to talk about it after a while, after church we'll go right out there and we'll talk about it and I'll just open up the book of Ephesians. God chose them in His Son Jesus before this world was. Amen. And this son, if you want to talk about it, they're predestinated. God knew them before He made this world. Uh, and let me, I, I want to say what David said. I'll read it and I'll get out of the way. It's a sight. Can't get started and don't want to hurt you. Wonder why things are the way they are. I have to put these glasses on. She said, You had them on and off all night. Wonder why things are the way they are. They're trying to figure out how come things are the way they are. I can tell you why. Starts in the third verse of the first chapter of the Bible. And God said, Let there be light. Look out there. Yeah. Wonder why it's light this morning. I just read it to you. God said, Let there be light. And there's light out there. Yeah. God said these things. Yeah. God spoke, brother. When God spoke it out of His mouth, it became it became to light. When He spoke light, light came. God spoke these things, and they were. Yeah. Even as He thought, so shall it come to pass. Yeah. That's the God of heaven. Amen. That's the God of this Bible. Yeah. It's not the God they're preaching out here. They're preachers. Preachers stand and tell them preachers that they're scared of dying and going to a devil's world. You think about that. That's a shame, ain't it? Worried about dying and going to a devil's world. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried, Lord, will you bless us when we come together to rejoice and to forget about our troubles in this world and casting our cares upon you and letting your spirit flow amongst the old Baptist. Yeah, yeah. Listen. They're His in an every nation and kindred and time. And you're His people. I'm here to tell you this morning, you're God's people. I can prove it to you by what He said. Son, go down there. You're going to serve. The Lord told me these things. You're going to serve me. And I'm like, oh, brother David, I run a little while. Boy, I run and works with God too, brother. It didn't get no better. Just called I run. It got worse. He said, go down there. Join that church and be with them people. They didn't speak it in here. It wasn't in that year. It was in my heart. He drove me to them. My love and kindness have I drawn thee. He'll draw me, brother. There's something in this thing. They draw them power in God Almighty. I went down there. And I joined up and I was happy as the old saying is as a coon in a hollow log. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't very long. The Lord said, Preach to my people. Now I'm preaching to you. See, here I am. Well, you're His people. I wouldn't be preaching to you. The Bible said, don't go out and cast your pearls before swine. That's right. Well, you ought to go down there into the bar. Yeah. I've been down there, brother. I didn't want to hear nobody yeah. preaching to me down there. Yeah. They don't need to knock you in the head, won't they? Yeah. See, the other there. Don't that's casting your pearl before swine, see. That's where the good news yeah. is told at. Right. Yeah. In God's house, listen, yeah. brethren, this is the Lord's. Yeah. It's here, ain't it? Yeah. God called the light day, and God said, Let there be a firmament. Check it out. And God called the firmament, and God said, Let there be water. Wonder why there's water. God said they'd be water. God said these things. That's how it got to be the way it is. It's in the book. Yeah. And God said, see, and God said, what God says will be. Amen. Yeah. Amen. God said He'd send His Son back in the morning. We're a day closer than we yeah. was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And He's going to call and the grave will give up their day to show yeah. I'm here I've never seen. That's the most frail thing you ever see in this world. The dead body. It'll come alive in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Listen how easy it is. And I check, spell it D E A D. D 
dead. It's spelled the same way every time you read it. It pertains to two different types of death. Dead, 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 and sin, and a corporal death. Yeah. Sin spelled one way. S-I-N. <laughs> but uh, you talk to a person that don't know nothing, the mom said there's two kind of people you can't talk to. One don't know nothing because he don't know nothing. He can't talk to the person don't know nothing. And then one knows everything. You can't talk. He knows it all. <laughs> That's what mom told me. I've seen something like that. But see, you check it out in the book. See, sin ain't spelt the same way every time you read it. And see, dead ain't spelt the same way every time you read it. And then you read the book. Every time you hear of the Lord going some, or to the dead, uh, of the dead, Jesus is going to him. Every time. You know why the dead can't go to the Lord? Yeah. But here they'll stand and tell a bunch of dead alien sinners, now listen, you need to give your life. And, and, you didn't have no life to right. give. That's right. It's all backwards. See how the world's got everything turned around? Jesus said, I give them life. But the world's telling you to give your life. You didn't have life. You were dead. Did Jesus give you life? Huh? That's right. That's right. <laughs> He's the life giver. We were dead. Trespassing and his sin. And I was dead a long time. And I'd watch that woman go to church and I I knew she had something. And I knew I didn't, Brother Dave. And I tried to prevent that. You know what that and, and then when the Lord did come to me, you know what the first thing uh, happened? Here comes Satan. Now listen. That's nonsense what they're into. You go on back to your business. You're doing just good the way you are. So you can do that, but you can't. That's what he told me. Yeah. That's for her, but it's not for you. you. You keep doing what you're doing, and she'll keep doing, and everything will be all right. And I can tell you what, he lied to me. Yeah. Yeah. He lied to you. And I've watched these old Baptist people. I've been around, so used to. I was uh, just a new uh, a baby in Christ. I've been around a little while now. And I see them out there, and I know them. They see me. Did you see me and know? See me. <laughs> you all was here before I come along. You see me. You know what was there. They're out there, and let me tell you something. It's better on the inside. Yeah, yeah. Now, you're still the Lord's people. Heaven's your home. Their home's head. Listen, brother. He set up an example. The Father, deny yourself, take up the cross, and follow the meek and mow the name of God in the way of baptism. I left something down there in that water hole and it didn't wash one sin that I ever committed away. And, but it was an answer to a good conscience towards God. Yeah. Represented the death, the burial, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. The walk of the of life. Amen. You do what He bids you to do and you'll be happy. Them people done exactly what, he, what His mother said to do. Fill them water pot to the top. And the Savior made fermented wine and it was the best wine. Yes, it was. They got happy. <laughs> I'm happy in the Lord, Brother Randall. Yeah. And I can tell you this, the best is yet to come. Amen. Our Savior yeah. coming back and taking yeah. on the Lord. But let me yeah. tell you this. I preached this one time and I had to come see. Now listen, man, I'm not all time right. I said, I ain't satisfied in this world. Well, in this world, I'm not out there. See, but I'm not in that world. But I'm going to tell you the truth about it. It has to be... See, I've got my right. I'm satisfied being with the old Baptist people. Yeah. I'm satisfied yeah. with what God's put me with these old Baptist people. Yeah. 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 May the Lord bless you. They're the best people ever I've been around.